What's up YouTube, it's your boy Street Dapper back at you guys with another YouTube video. Um, today I have for you guys a little grooming tutorial. Um, I just wanna go through uh, the type of hairstyle that I have. You've probably, you probably already know what it is. But for some of you who don't know, uh, I just wanna give you guys some tips or some uh, a little tutorial on how uh, on what this haircut is and how to style it when you get the haircut so basically first off off the bat I just want to tell you guys uh, don't go to a haircuttery don't go to a I'm just gonna say just don't go to like a white person's barbershop if you know what I'm trying to say like anything that says sports clips anything that has the word clips in it anything that has the word hair in it if you know what I'm trying to say because you know how many people of your friends, maybe in school, you see them, they say they go to that type of uh, hair cuttery place and their hair just looks terrible. I'm just letting you know, go to someone with a really nice haircut, ask them where they get their haircuts because that's all, because that's where you're going to get a good haircut. Because if, if you go to a place that gives trash haircuts, you're going to get a trash haircut. So just, just know, don't go to a hair cuttery, don't go to a grip clips, don't go to a, like a white mom's. If you know what I'm trying to say, don't go to a white mom's uh, barbershop. So anyways, I'm just going to go ahead and get into it. Basically, you go to a barbershop, you ask, hey, can I get a comb over? Um, basically, you, you're going to want to fade it if you want a high fade. Uh, that's what I usually do. Um, just pretty much ask for a high fade, let them blend it in, as you can see in the haircut. Um, really nice. Uh, I'm going to go through my part. I, got, I asked for a part right down the side of my head, if you can see it, um, right there right there and then on the back they i asked him to make it longer asked my barber vega but oh, no, i actually not Vega. that's his instagram uh, his my um barber jorge i asked him to make a longer part going down the back which is really nice definitely something different definitely looks like somebody slashed my head um so yeah that's the uh that's my haircut for now actually it's just pretty much high fade and then you just trim, shear up the side, or no, not the side, shear up the uh, top of my head. Um, keep that well groomed. For products, you can, I switch off between Suave Cito and uh, Laywright. So here I have this big jug of Suave Cito. It's their uh, firm hold. Uh, definitely, it's definitely a nice pomade. Um, it's definitely more for uh, everyday use like if you just don't want your hair to stay one way because it hardens up like a gel but it's not really gel it's more of a pomade um, but yeah that, the Suave Cito is your best choice if you want to go for something that you just want to get it in and then you don't have to mess with it um, you don't have to think about it the whole day it's just there it's good um, the one I prefer to use but um, now I mean that's what I use all the time but here I use uh, Laywright right here in their Super Shine. Um, you can get it off the website. I'll have links to these pomades in the description below. But Laywright, honestly, to me, uh, looks better. I and mean, it's more like it, it has a, rec a recombable um, S to it. You can recombe it throughout the day. Um, it's not too. It doesn't harden up, so it can like move around a little bit. And uh, Honestly, like the, the reason I like Layright more than Suavecito is because if a girl wants to, okay, I'm not, <laughs> if a girl just wants to like move her, like touch her hair, it's more easier on her. She can like move her fingers through your hair than Suavecito because it like that. It's like legit, like it feels like gel, but it's not. Um, so that's why I prefer Layright, um, just like for basic reasons. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys with Layright actually um, how the hairstyle looks. So. Basically open it up and it looks like this on the inside uh, <laughs> It looks basically it looks like paste um, Orange paste, but it's it's, it's don't, don't like let that scare you. It's definitely a good product So basically Take a couple scoops of the product apply it spread it out throughout your hands and just like Just let it spread <laughs> like that just apply it really nice and then just applying it releases all the uh, stuff inside the uh, pomade so as you can see my hand looks kind of greasy right now <laughs> so basically after that just start applying it to your hair
and you're just for, for uh, each person you're just gonna judge yourself how much pomade you want to use um, if you want to use not a lot you'll have a light hold uh, if you want to use a little bit or a good bit you'll have a pretty good hold and if you want to use a lot you'll have a pretty nice hold that'll last the whole day I don't like to use too much but that's just me So just go through the hair with your fingers, let the pomade spread, pretty much how you want to get it. You just want to get it evenly spread throughout your hair. Um, make sure you didn't miss any spots, because that would suck. Just make sure you can like make sure it's still movable so you can pump it a little bit. Um, there you guys go. Um, Pretty much it. I'm gonna apply it a little bit more because I need some of the back. Stupid hairs, loose hairs. But um, yeah, if you guys should definitely check out this uh, this hairstyle. I mean, I like pumping my hair. I like comb overs. I think they look sick. I think it gives it like an old world feel, like a 1950s feel. I definitely love the look. I'm definitely gonna try different cuts later on when I grow my hair out. Might try an undercut, might do a little samurai look that um, I see. Uh, I think that looks dope, but for now I'm just sticking with my uh, comb over because I think it's just a dope classic look that you get from like a 1950s feel. And, and I'm just like, I like the 1950s era. I think it's a dope era. Uh, the greases and everything. Um, uh, yeah, it's just one of my favorite areas actually in American history. We are actually going over that in American history in school. But the point is, it's a pretty dope hairstyle. Pretty dope. So yeah, um, done applying the product to my hair. Uh, what you just do is you just rinse out the product with water, and it should rinse out like butter, honestly. Um, and that, it's not like an oil pomade, so it doesn't stick to your uh, hands that wet, that much. So you just apply water, and you just take it off with a towel. Uh, so, get all that crap off. Now take a comb. Now what you're gonna do here is you're gonna wanna take a comb and just comb it over, basically. I, what I do is I comb the back to the side, as so, like that. And then I take the front part and I comb it up and back, comb it up back as so coming back like that now I still will have some small hairs because I was doing something different with the hair one time and then I kind of didn't like it. So I'm going to apply Suavecito since it's a stronger hold on those smaller hairs and I'm going to just apply it right there. So like if you have small hairs you can always use something stronger like Suavecito so you can get the best of both worlds, something light and then something small. I always apply it like right here because those hair, the hairs are shorter and I was trying something different but it didn't really work out. I didn't really like it. So I'm going to just apply that to uh, keep it down. That's pretty much it. That's how you do, that's how I do my comb over. If anyone was wondering. Because um, I know I got people every, I got people at school always asking me what your what my hair is and this is basically I'm just that's basically the responsibility for that so one more 
thing. Uh, if you if you have any loose hairs, any hairs that are just not staying down, or you just want to make sure it stays down, you can always take some uh, some spray and some super spray and just keep it down. So basically, just apply apply it as needed. And that should keep your hair down. All right, guys. So. I'm about to leave for church. I'm just here reviewing the uh, combo for you guys, showing you guys. Uh, so here you go. Um, I I have all, I have the back all combed over to the side. I have the front combed backwards and up. So basically, if you want to pop, you have to come pop like upward in a motion like that. You got the part right there. You got the part in the back. Alright guys, so thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed all the little bits of information that I displayed to you guys. Um, let me know in the comments below if you're going to get this hairstyle, if you're going to get a comb over, that would be awesome. I'd love to see what it looks like on you guys. Um, don't forget to like the video, share, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Um, liking it just means you're showing me that you enjoyed the video, letting me know that you guys are enjoying them, that you're, the content that you're enjoying. Um, Follow me on all the social media outlets, uh, Twitter, Instagram, uh, just stay connected with me um, on underscore street dapper at on both of the uh, hit on both of the handles for Instagram and Twitter. Uh, so again, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time on my next video. Peace in the Middle East. Take care guys. Deuces. Feel the pressure of the waves, crash down.